I'm making a challenge for us. I'm gonna see how many days we can go with up like uploading a video consistently. So at least one video a day. Uh, it's kind of a challenge. I'll see if other people do it. But yeah, I'm gonna see how long I can go um, uploading one video a day. And yes, it's gonna be quality content. So I'm pretty pumped. I'm gonna see how far I can go. Um, today, obviously, another video on the Miata. Uh, it's still leaking, of course. Uh, it's at the exhaust manifold. I'm pretty sure one of these bolts got loose, but um, I'm just gonna tighten them up real quick and see how I can fix it. But it's really obvious whenever um, your Miata develops an exhaust leak, well, with a turbo, um, you can hear it. It's a good change in tone. Here, I'll start it up real quick. So you'll be, you should be able to hear it right off the bat. Before that gets really hot, I can't work on it. Turn that off. But uh, as I went over in the previous videos, I had to replace these bolts right here. Let me reset the gimbal. These bolts right here had to be replaced um, right there. Oh, and that's loose. Okay, so that's part of the problem right there. Um, but yeah, uh, I tried to use Loctite on them, but the Loctite literally just burned right off. And I got a lock washer on like half of them. But it looks like they still got loose. The one thing I hate about this is it's so hard to turn any kind of bolt, I swear. Like, it's always in the worst position. And yeah, that's why it's making that noise. It's just loose. So, looks like that's a 5 eighths. I got two different sizes of bolts on here. I have 9 16 and 5 eighths. Because the first time I went to Ace, I ended up getting bolts slightly too big. And then I went back and got bolts a little bit too small, which are the 9 16 So, therefore, I'm running two sizes of bolts, 9 16 and 5 8 And it looks like that is pretty tight. Pretty tight. And I already found the issue. Let me see if I can... The, EG2, the EGT tube... Ah, fuck, that's hot. But somehow this thing, this nut, still fell off, even being a lock washer. That just goes to show how hot this thing gets. Um, I still got the other three on there, thank God, and they're all pretty tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and, since there's already three on there, go ahead and drive it to Ace because the other cars aren't here right now. And I have to take this one. That low aisle though. It's okay, so. So I gotta let the Miata cool down because I'm not gonna try to touch those manifold bolts like it is. So I figured we'd go ahead and practice some welding, which is much needed. <laughs> but um, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but we have to use a ghetto system to keep this uh, the like um, the wire from unrolling. Because I bought it from a pawn shop, and whenever I bought it, I wasn't aware that it didn't come with a tensioner. So since it doesn't have a tensioner, as soon as you like uh, let go of the pressure on this roll, it acts like a spring and it just unrolls the whole damn thing it's annoying so what you gotta do is first step is to get one of these and then you gotta get a water bottle you gotta chug it okay so that's done now let me see if i can set the camera up to where you guys can see this you have to let it spin a little bit because it has a little electric motor in here that will pull the wire through i mean obviously most of you guys know this but I'm just explaining the setup here. And whenever that pulls, this thing will very gradually unroll. And it has just enough pressure on it to where it won't unspring. And if like, if this isn't here, let me show you guys what happens. It just starts doing that. So yeah, and then it, it's just a big pain in the ass. Of course the wire broke, but I actually laid a pretty good bead down, in my opinion. So this was like whenever I first got the welder, and then uh, these two right here, 
Here, let me point with this. So yeah, these are like before, and then this is what I just did. So not too bad. Obviously not the best weld in the world, but I'm pretty happy with it. So that turned out pretty good actually. And it's always a pain in the ass whenever the wire breaks because you have to put the whole thing back through. No!